Hello, my lovely backbiting troglodyte sewer dwelling chuds of the internet. Today we bring you yet another extra special, I'm sorry, I meant extra stoned edition of What's in the Bag, which of course I'm doing of my own volition, and certainly not because I was bribed with a plate of pot cookies. No. Girl, Ithaca, how the fuck have you been? I'm honestly surprised to see you on my show so soon. I thought you would have at least made it to fifth or fourth place. What happened? Huh, well honey, you know how it is in show business. You know, they either love you or they really love you. In this case, I was just too much for the camera to handle, honey. So I had to skedaddle on out of there as soon as I could, you know. Couldn't take away screen time from the other queens, you know. If I'm being honest, Ithaca, I think your Snatch game was hilarious. And I think it's really, really sad and pathetic that the judges couldn't see the artistry behind the character you were doing. And that you weren't trying to imitate Galaxia like one for one. You were doing your own version of Galaxia. And they just couldn't see that, and that's sad. I know what you mean, honey, because when I put on that outfit, I felt like I was the season one winner, huh? But I guess Morgan, especially Galaxia, who was right there at the time, and I tell you, up front, hand to God, I had no clue that Miss Galaxia herself was going to be there. I probably would have done someone else, like, hell, I don't know, Lapis or something? I don't know, honey. Honestly, Ithaca, I think that the perfect Snatch Game impersonation for you would have been Laganja Estranja. You would have nailed it! You would have knocked it out of the park and you would have probably won. Lasagna who? Huh. Girl, I don't know her, honey. Huh. Anyway, I didn't really plan for Snatch Game all that well. But I think I gave everything I could in that lip sync. As you can see, I looked just like Jim, honey. I looked like an 80s Baba doll. Honey, I was here to slay. And even if I end up sashaying, I still look good. I will concede that I think episode 5 is the best that you and Damiana have looked all season. And you haven't really looked terrible. Like episode 4, you looked amazing. And unfortunately, you were also in the bottom then. But, you know, usually I give queens shit about, oh, you were too stupid, or you're too lazy, blah, blah, blah. I think this was a bias, Ithaca. I think that they're like, oh, we already had too many alien queens, or oh, she's just too good for us, and if we put her in the end, we'll have to crown her. Yeah, it was rigor mortis. It was absolutely rigor mortis. You're Rob Queen. Rob Queen. Anyway, enough about that. Let's take our deep dive and see what's in the bag. Ithaca, open up your bag, please. And show us what you brought, starting with this outfit over here. Now this outfit looks 90s, early 2000s, grunge, punk. Ithaca, help me out here. What is this look? So this look I was going to wear for the Stranger Looks runway, which would have been the episode after the episode where I got sent home. Just a sec, gotta take a quick toke here, honey. Oh, all right. So, as I was saying, that look would have been worn for the Stranger Looks runway. And before you sass, take a minute to address, I would have had multicolored hair, honey, extremely crazy makeup and lipstick, long ass fingernails, mama. It was the range of the capital S. Ithaca, are you serious? Did you really wear like a rainbow? wig with this look and like I don't I don't know I'm picturing more like just gothic looking like lipstick makeup maybe some black pointy nails like did you really plan it that way I mean it's, I don't know I don't want to like call you liar but actually honey I was lying my ass off just now <laughs> well actually uh I would have worn a long a uh, blonde wig and I would have had the side kind of shaved a little bit kind of like a slight fade in you know and I would have had some black gothic lipstick honey and I would have had some very dramatic eye makeup and I would have looked bitch I would look boss I would have looked strange huh 
I would have robbed that one way, honey. It's a good thing I went home when I did, because I would have robbed those queens of those lands, honey. Huh. Interesting. Um, you know, because the stranger looks is like, uh, the whole challenge is asking for to look strange, so to look weird, and you want to kind of, like, stray from pedestrian, basic, you know, normal looks. And while this look is kind of, like, strange, it's strange in a sense that it's, like, from a different time zone, or time era, sorry. It's like from the 90s or 2000s instead of the 2020s. Does that make sense? Oh, I fully hear you, Mama. But I think if you saw my complete look on stage, there would be no doubt that this was a winning look. Boots house down, slay, Mama. Okay, I like this look. And I'm picturing the mask. And I think... Uh, we have differing opinions on the other look. But this look, I think we can both agree. This would be easily... Uh, a winning look. Easily. I think most queens are like, I'm gonna wear something black and demure and blah 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 and gothic. This stands out from the rest. This makes you stand out from the rest. And in turn, people are gonna notice you more. And they're gonna have good things to say about it because it's not the same thing as the others. I like it. I like this look. If I were on the judging panel, uh, I would absolutely make sure that this put you in the top. Well, this look was gonna be for the Dynamic Drag Duo's runway, honey. And yes, even though it is black, like the other queens would probably choose, and the mask is silver, chrome, platinum, whatever, I just went with what I felt was the sleekest and the sexiest, and honey, seeing it on that mannequin does not do it justice. You gotta see it on the person, honey. And if you saw it on my person, you would realize that this is a winning look. Well, gee, Miss Eliza Pancakes, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Huh. You're starting to flatter me. Huh. I hope you're not just saying that because I brought a plate full of pot brownies, honey. No, 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 of course not, Ithaca. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, we're going to call it here because we are super overtime. <laughs> Tune in next week when I'm joined with three versions of John Leguizamo, the clown from Spawn, Luigi from Super Mario Brothers, and Chi Chi Rodriguez from Tu Wong Fu, as we debate climate policy, Jimmy Hoffa, and the disappearance of fidget spinners. <laughs>